What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rich Secrets. And today, we got a real fire topic to hop on. We're gonna be talking about exactly on what you should not do, the mistakes that you should not make when you file your LLC. Now, we know for a fact that I have went over the three most common mistakes that people make when they file their LLC. But this, this, this video is gonna be on a little bit different situation on something that's very important and something that you really need to know when filing your LLC. Now, before we get started with the video, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that share button. That way you'll be updated every time your boy drop a fire video. All right, so first of all, we all know, like I said, I've went over the three most common mistakes when it comes to filing your LLC. I've went over also getting a business banking account a business checkings account when you uh, after you file your LLC because those are things that are needed, right? Uh, I will go over the three, uh, you know, just in case inside this video, if we have any new people that are visiting this video, I will go over the three most common mistakes for, that people make when they file their LLCs, okay? The three most common mistakes that people make when they file their LLC is first of all, they have a personal number attached to their LLC. All right, that's the first thing. They have one of their personal numbers attached to the LLC. That is not right, you're supposed to have a business toll line. If you don't know what a business toll line is and you ever called a business before and you called them and they say, please wait after the tone. Dun, 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 dun. That is a business toll line, okay? Number two, people put a personal email. Personal email, this is very important. These are things that literally people get denied for even if they are building their business credit. And people wonder exactly why they're getting denied. And let me tell you something. Back in the old days, it used to be to where an actual person was looking at the information that you submitted, right? When you submit your LLC information into a credit card for a credit card or a loan, revolving credit line, doesn't matter. When you do that, right? It used to be an actual human looking at that information on your LLC and making sure everything is correct. It is not that way anymore. Now they have systems that are built for this, right? So automatically when you send your LLC information through, if you do not have these three things correct, it will be an automatic denial. They won't even have to check your business credit or anything like that. Once you have these three things incorrect or even one of the three things incorrect, they will deny you, okay? So like I said, personal email, you wanna make sure you have a professional business email. Next thing is people put a residential address tied to their LLC. You're not supposed to have a residential address tied to your LLC. You're either supposed to have a physical business location that you work out of, okay? And if you cannot afford a physical business location, go out and get a virtual address. Go out and get a virtual address. If you need to know more on a virtual address, I literally have a whole video on a virtual ad on, on how to get a virtual address, and I give you two type of people to go to for your virtual address. And that is going to be inside my YouTube channel, all right? But those are the three most common mistakes that people make, all right? Now I wanna carry on with, once you get those corrected, right? And you have your LLC actually filed or for the people that actually filed their LLC already correctly. Going on to the business checkings account. Once you start your business checkings account, this is something important that you really honestly need to know, okay? You do not wanna be using your check your business checkings for your personal, for your personal uses, all right? I said it again. You do not want to be using your business checkings account for personal use. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to break down exactly on what happens when you start using these things, when you start using your business checkings as personal use. All right. First of all is you have to understand that this is a business account. When you run personal transactions through nine times out of 10, it's going to be a lot of transactions because you're using it for your personal daily uses, right? You're going out and probably getting some gas. You're going out and probably going to the store, right? Walmart, getting groceries, all type of things. These are things you really want to make sure that you do only on your personal account, all right? So that means if you have a personal banking account, that's the account that you want to use for your personal transactions. When you go over to here and start using your business checkings and start using and start running personal transactions through, first of all, I will tell you this. It's going to be very bad when you go out and you try to go and get a loan, right? Even if you have all, all three of those things correct. When you try to go out and get a loan, what'll happen is they have people called underwriters, right? For when they give out loans, et cetera, right? They have people called underwriters that look at your file, right? 
And what that underwriter job is for is to, first of all, A, make sure that you're a legitimate business. So they make sure that your LLC is active, all right? They make sure your LLC is active. You have to renew your LLC either every year or every two years, okay? I think it's I think it's I think it's every two years. Okay? Might be a year. <laughs> We're just gonna say a year for right now. You have to renew your LLC every year. All right. So it, if it's inactive, then they're not available to give you anything. All right. They're not available to give you a loan, credit card, revolving credit line, anything because your business is considered as inactive. All right. That's the first thing. Next thing that they check, which is the most important thing, which is what we're going through. They check your bank statements. Nine times out of 10, they will need your bank statements and they will need three months of your bank statements. When they get those bank statements, this is how they'll rate you. All right. And this is what determines ultimately what you end up getting from them. OK. Now, when they check your bank statement, first of all, if they first see that you are running personal transactions through your account. Right. They see you are running personal transactions through your account. They're going to be looking through your account, right? And I'm sorry, he went to the Walmart. He went to the liquor store. He went to go get, he went stop by Family Dollar. None of these look like business transactions, right? So you might not get denied for that, right? You might not get denied for it, but what happens is they put you automatically as a high risk. Okay, you are automatically, you are automatically selected as a high risk, all right? And what does that do? that lowers your loan amount, which is something you do not want. Now, I have seen people get denied for these things because they don't want to take, the loan companies do not want to take a risk out on giving you something and you're not responsible with the business check-ins account you have right now. They're going to be depositing the money into the business check-ins account that you have. And if you're that person that's literally using your business check-in irresponsible, going out and buying things that are not dealing with business, what do you expect? What do you expect? Also, make sure with your LLC, the smartest thing you can ever do is make sure that you become a consumer through your LLC. Listen to what I just said. Become a consumer through your LLC. Always pay yourself through your LLC. All right? It's so many benefits that come with it just from you simply being able to pay yourself through your LLC, okay? I need you to really understand that those are the two key things that I wanted to talk to you, I mean, that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. All right, is first of all, make sure that you do not run transactions, personal transactions through your business account. And also make sure that you pay yourself through your LLC, okay? When you pay yourself through your LLC, you become a employee, you become a consumer of your business, right? Better tax benefits better write-offs, better things to be able to do and way more benefits when you're able to be able to do these things, okay? Now, that is going to be it for today. I hope y'all enjoyed that information, okay? I feel like that was very important for my business owners and people that are just now starting a business. I will be updating you guys every single day on this YouTube channel. So if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that like button. 